WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished up 60, NASDAQ down 55, S&Ps off 8.5. Gold, gold contract flat, 2037 an ounce. We had silver down a penny, $22.91 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 81 cents, $78.17 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note. Traded down five ticks at 111.05. 30-year flat at 119.25. And the 10-year right now is yielding 4.14. So on the 10-year, folks, for the last three months, the low was established at 3.79, and the high was 4.9. And right now we're at 4.14. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar was down 118 ticks, trading 103.454, the euro at 108, the yen trading at 148, the British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&Ps, folks, and what you're going to hear out here again today is that the bottom line is that the S&Ps on the weekly basis finished at highs, which it did. Now, what you're going to have here, okay, is that we have the Fed on the 31st, which is Wednesday. You also have window dressing. Bottom line, my take is that this thing's want to, you know, that I think the market's waiting for the Fed for the statement. And the statement, I feel, is going to be really dovish. And that's going to take the market higher again. And the double banger on this is that the 31st is the Fed statement. It's window dressing. We've been consolidating here right now for, you know, you can say almost seven weeks. I mean, I know we popped higher the last two weeks, but when you kind of take a look at the chart, it's like, okay, we've been three, six. Yeah, we've been really at the same place for like seven weeks. You know, and I suspect, so if that's the take, if that's what comes down, what you're gonna see there is that you're gonna see the dollar go south. You're gonna see the S&P, go north, you're going to see gold go north, silver go north, commodities go north, because that dollar wants lower price. But it's been building cars. It's been a sideways move. It's been stubborn. You know, I showed you today where the, the supports are. And, and there's, there's heavy support right where it is, because it's traded there that long going into the past. That being said, uh, that can get destroyed pretty quick uh, if, in fact, you get follow through from the Fed saying that, okay, we are going to be done this year. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m.